Hello. Today I'll compare the two main types of fuel air delivery system used in spark ignition engines, the carburetor and the fuel injection system. As we know, fuel injection system is a system primarily used in diesel engines because diesel is a less volatile fuel and hence harder to ignite. It needs to be atomized at higher pressures to form droplets. Until the last few decades, that is until the 1980s, spark ignition engines or autocycle engines used carburetors as the primary fuel delivery system. The carburetor works on Bernoulli's principle. The faster the air moves, the lower its static pressure and the higher its dynamic pressure. The throttle, that is the accelerator linkage, does not directly control the flow of liquid fuel. Instead, it actuates the carburetor mechanisms via a butterfly valve. In essence, a carburetor basically consists of an open pipe through which the air passes into the inlet manifold of the engine. The pipe is in the form of a venturi. It narrows in the section and in a section and then widens again, causing the airflow to increase in speed in the narrowest part. Below the venturi is a butterfly valve called the throttle valve, a rotating disc that can be turned end on to the airflow so as to hardly restrict the flow, or can be rotated so that it almost completely blocks the flow of air. This valve controls the flow of air through the carburetor throat and thus the quantity of air fuel mixture the system will deliver thereby regulating engine power and speed. The throttle is connected usually through a cable or a mechanical linkage of rods and joints or rarely by pneumatic links to the accelerator pedal on a car or the equivalent control on other vehicles or equipment. Carburetors use a float chamber which is an instantaneous reservoir of fuel kept near atmospheric pressure ensuring a steady supply of fuel is present for the carburetor. Fuel injection, on the other hand, is the introduction of fuel in an internal combustion engine by the means of an injector. Fuel injection replaced carburetors from the 1980s onward. The primary difference between carburetors and fuel injection is that fuel injection atomizes the fuel through a small nozzle under high pressure and the carburetor relies on suction created by intake air, accelerated through a venturi tube to draw the fuel into the airstream. All modern petrol injection systems use indirect injection. In this, the fuel is directly in, is injected into the uh, uh, intake air instead of directly into the cylinder. The air, the air fuel mixture in which the fuel has atomized is thus injected into the cylinder after that. Depending on the particular system, the fuel is fired into either the inlet manifold or the inlet port via an injector. This works much like the spray nozzle or like a hose, ensuring that the fuel comes out as a fine mist. The fuel mixes with the air passing through the inlet manifold or port and the fuel air mixture thus enters the combustion chamber. Injectors Injectors through which the fuel is sprayed are screwed nozzle first into either the inlet manifold or the cylinder head and are angled so that the spray of fuel is fired towards the inlet valve. The injectors are one of two types depending on the injection system. The first uses continuous injection where the fuel is squirted into the inlet port all the time while the engine is running. The injector thus simply acts as a spray nozzle to break up the fuel into a fine spray. It doesn't actually control the fuel flow. The amount of fuel sprayed is increased or decreased by a mechanical or electrical control unit. The other system is timed injection, when the injector injects bursts of fuel based on the in induction stroke of the cylinder. The earlier systems were mechanically controlled, also known as petrol injected, and the fuel flow is regulated by a mechanical assembly. This suffered from the drawbacks of being mechanically complex, heavy, and difficult to repair, and at the same time having poor response times with the throttle. Now, they have largely been superseded by electronic fuel injection, known as EFI for short. This is thanks to the increasing reliability and decreasing cost of electronic control systems. The lightweight, uh, lightweight system and uh, extreme rugged, ruggedness. Now, comparison based on benefits and uh, disadvantages of the fuel injection and carburetors. Fuel injection systems are smooth and have a better throttle response, such as during quick throttle transitions, such as when we need a high speed, uh, when we need to accelerate, or when we need to slow down. And easier starting in cold temperatures. 
Fuel injection also dispenses with the need of a separate mechanical choke, which on carburetor equipped vehicles must be adjusted as the engine warms up to its normal temperature. Furthermore, on uh, in petrol engines, that is spark ignition engines, direct fuel injection has the advantage of being able to facilitate stratified combustion. The advantage, another advantage of fuel injection is that in a, in a fuel injected system, a, a very uniform fuel air mixture can be supplied to the cylinders. In a multi cylinder engine, this is of prime importance as the engine must be running smoothly. Each cylinder must thus be giving a similar output of power. In a carburetted system, this is very hard to achieve. Otherwise, it has to be achieved with the system of each cylinder having its own carburetor, which increases complexity. In a fuel injector system, the method of ensuring that equal fuel and air mixture enters each cylinder can be achieved with the help of a rail, the rail injection system. Another advantage of fuel injection systems is that they are able to operate regardless of their orientation, whether in positive G or negative G environments. It was seen first often in World War II, such as in the world in certain aircraft which still use carburetor systems that the fuel means the, the carburetor stopped operating when the, the aircraft was upside down or in a negative G environment such as an encounter on air in this uh, in the spit fire in the World War II. Fuel injection systems on the other hand do not suffer from this drawback. As it comes to environment, environmental benefits, a fuel injection generally in, increases engine fuel efficiency. As the, improve, as the cylinder to cylinder fuel distribution is improved, less fuel is needed for the same power output and the same power output can be achieved at a lower RPM rating. Exhaust emissions are also clearer because the more precise and accurate fuel metering reduces the concentration of toxic, toxic combustion products. The more consistent and predictable composition makes emissions control a lot effective and more easier. Popular emission control device these days is a catalytic converter. On the other hand, carburetor, the carburetor too has some benefits. As a carburetor operates on a very simple design, it is easy to manufacture and thus very cheap to operate. It is highly reliable and can even on suffering some issues can be repaired easily with minimal skill and knowledge. On the other hand, a fuel injection system requires complex knowledge of electronics and mechanics to repair or maintain such injection systems. Thank you.